Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to 5 Minute Crypto, the channel where we cover the most important crypto news in just 5 minutes. Back again with another crypto update. Starting it off, the Twitter boss Jack Dorsey's first tweet ever sold for $2.9 million as an NFT yesterday. This is one of the biggest NFT sales yet. And it's one of the most interesting ones, as he explained, he'll be giving the proceeds to charity. But also, this has set a very powerful message that almost anything, even though it was an art, is just unique, can be sold because of the signature. And now, a tweet in the real world would have been sold for in, in a very difficult manner. Even though he's the boss of Twitter, basically, he could have found a way to really put that tweet into somebody else's name on his platform, who could have most likely figured something out. The bigger picture is the NFT realm right now is exploding because of crazy stuff like this. Nobody ever thought about really selling a tweet. Nobody ever thought a tweet could sell for millions of dollars, but yes, it can. And that I think will actually bring up a lot of new cool things to say the least and we'll be watching out to see what's going to come if you have no idea what an nft is go check out my previous video which is basically a guide on nfts how to use them how to get started with them and how to make money with them having said that enough talk about nfts what was most interesting right now i believe for most people is theta because theta just surged to enter the top 10 list of cryptocurrencies by market cap and i decided to do a little bit of digging i could not find anything really quite significant for today when it went up about 40 percent or so except for this tweet from them which reads institutional investor sierra ventures heuristic capital the vr fund and gfr fund stake over a hundred million dollars in theta to a collective enterprise validator node i believe that that is the big deal of today I don't think anything else could have topped this. And I mean, the, the time zones, they match up quite nicely. So I'm going to assume that this is what happened. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section down below. But if you're wondering why it went up 40%, I am assuming that this was the case. Or Theta was already going up like it has been doing for quite a couple of days. It just keeps on overtaking and going crazy. And now this news, which was released a couple of hours ago, actually spiked the price up even further, taking it, for example, from a 20% upper to a 40% upper once more because of the news. And then the fuel token, the gas token, I should say, the Theta Fuel, I believe also is going up right now, mostly because Theta has been going crazy, but also because gas tokens in general have been getting a huge amount of popularity recently. For example, NEO's gas token, we have the one from VeChain, which is the fee Thor. We've talked about all of them as they are extremely, extremely competent uh, as replacements of Ethereum. I should say in different words, Ethereum right now has a lot of issues with their gas because it's just ridiculously expensive as of this point. And all these other platforms are being prioritized because of their cheapness or fairness rather. And so they are increasing in popularity as Ethereum keeps pumping up and as more people join the crypto realm. On another end, of course, people are noticing that these gas tokens like the VThor can actually go up in price too, and they're given to you for free, basically. So to a lot of people, it's also just something you can put some money into. You're giving it for free so you can make more money on it, but you can also speculate because once more, it's a free thing, and you've seen the price deviate by tons of money before. And I personally have made some very extremely profitable trades on VThor before, purely for the price going up and down. Because once more, there wasn't really much effort into it. I just thought, you know what? Even though I get VTOR for free, let me just buy it because I think the price is going to go up. It works like a charm. It's not something I think that was meant to happen, but it works. Um, and I mean, yeah, if you can make money with it, why would you not? I've also explained a little bit earlier on the DustyBC channel that I think a lot of these coins right now, Uni, Luna, Theta, and Phil, which is Filecoin, might actually really outperform the rest of the crypto market purely because they're kind of unique. Uh, but also have a specific use case which can still do good when Bitcoin is doing bad like times right now. Or when a lot of other altcoins are down, some of these coins can still go up. And of course, these are the top performers of the last couple of weeks or so with tons of percentages extra. Just crazy outperformers and you don't even have to know what they do. You've seen them most likely just because of their performance in the last couple of weeks. But that was it for 5 Minute Crypto. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you press the like button and subscribe. There were no ads. See you guys again in another crypto video. Should I actually time it to exactly 5 minutes. Think you can do it?